Hoi An impresses travelers with its timeless charm and rich cultural heritage. History, tradition and natural beauty converge in this ancient town. In the next three days we'll see the best attractions to visit and we'll answer if indeed Hoi An is sinking. This is the most complex Hoi An travel video you'll find on the internet, so search no more and let's go! We are travel and tell no one, Eastern Europeans obsessed about traveling. For the past 5 years we've mixed the corporate life with blogger life and we shared videos from incredible destinations such as Bali, Sri Lanka, Mexico and all the corners of Europe. Plenty of reasons to follow us on YouTube. Just click the subscribe button and that's it. It was that time again to fly to unknown places of Vietnam. We just uh, did our check-in uh, for Da Nang. We are now in Ho Chi Minh airport. We are flying for 40 minutes and uh, from Da Nang we will take the shuttle, a private shuttle for 400k. And we will have a flight of uh, 40 minutes. It was the most convenient way. We didn't want to go with the sleep bus. Uh, this was around uh, $50 flight with uh, checked in uh, luggage. So pretty convenient. And can't wait to see what Hoi An brings us. Today we are flying with Vietnam Airlines. Hello! We have just landed in Da Nang. Let's go to Hoi An now. Okay, we made it. Hoi An next stop. Yeah, for now, five minutes drive, I think. Luckily, we have trust. sun. Never trust the weather forecast. Okay, let's ride. We have made it to Hoi An in this beautiful hotel. Thank you. Cheers, baby. Let's make a tour. Home tour, home tour. Wow. How awesome. This is a five star hotel. So cute. And we have fruits, exotic fruits. Can't wait to taste them. And we have a view. Finally, we have a view. After getting comfortable in our new room, it was already dark outside, but we were so curious to explore Hoi An, so we went for a walk. <laughs> Souvenirs were all over the place, selling everything from clothes, paintings and traditional crafted souvenirs. Sublime temples were everywhere, but we'll have time for them in the next coming days. So these are basically incense sticks are right now burning. A massage was our chosen activity for the end of the day and we didn't regret it at all. First day in Hoi An, we are relaxing at spa, we are doing the Vietnamese massage. This is very hot. So relaxing for the food. Some beans, but it's <laughs> uh, hot beans. Good massage before Vietnamese massage and a delicious uh, cold tea. My feet barely enter. The price for today was 275k Vietnamese dong for one hour of Vietnamese massage. We are on a bath with some cucumber. After an hour of Vietnamese uh, massage, we are now relaxing again at uh, something sweet and a tea. It was really, really relaxing after a lot of uh, walking into Hoi An and also Ho Chi Minh. A massage like this was perfect for me. It was a bit hard, but um, I loved it. Good 
morning, it's time for breakfast in Hoyan. It rained all night. Hopefully, we will have a great time to show you Hoyan. Just had the breakfast, it was awesome. We are so full, full of our sons, but full of uh, food also. The view was great, right in the pool. And uh, now we are going to prepare for Hoyan. We have just started our day in Hoi An. Today we are going to see everything that uh, you need to visit while in a short visit to Hoi An. Walking and cycling town, Hoi An. A lot of clothes, a lot of incense, clothes everywhere, costumes if you want to do a tailored costume. Laura, lady in red. In the night, the city comes to light. Pukien Assembly Hall, or also called Fujian Assembly Hall, is one of the highlight attractions in the ancient town of Hoiyan. We bought a ticket with 120k dong, but we do have also four more entrances uh, through the city. So it's uh, pretty convenient. The main entrance contains three large Chinese Kim Son Tun, which means Golden Mountain Pagoda. Decoration on the right and on the left is the sun and the moon, represents heaven and earth, yin and yang. Bit of rain doesn't hurt anyone. Ah, watch the gate. <laughs> It's a raining day, <laughs> hallelujah. It was built by ancient Chinese businessmen and has been developed more and more beautiful. It is one of the key aspects that a lot of tourists come to Hoi An. Hoi Kwan Ho Kien. According to some official documents, the Ho Kien Assembly Hall was built in 1697 with the main purpose to worship the sea mother Mazu, who blessed and recured the businessman who traveled safely on the ocean. Plus, this is also the place where people can wish for children, good weather and good health. As you see folks, Ho Yan in November it is a bit flooding because of the heavy rain that is uh, going on each day. Traditional art performance uh, house and we are ready for the show. The dancers are already prepared. Hello. Almost prepared for the show in five minutes. There are three shows in a day. One is at 10.15 and the others are at uh, 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. One minute left. Welcome to the traditional art performance house for us today. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the artists, we would like to give the warmest greeting to all of you. Please enjoy. Thank you. Hoyan, which formerly was known as Paiko, is a small traditional port city with influences dating back from 15th century. 
Cantonese Assembly Hall is located in the heart of Hoi An ancient town. When you come in to explore the interior space, you will have the opportunity to learn more about the culture of the Cantonese people who lived in Hoi An centuries ago. It was built in the late 18th century, often seated as 1885, and originally was used to worship the Mazu goddess and Confucius. Since 1911, however, it has been switched to honor Guan Yu and other respectable figures in history. This hall had a fascinating construction procedure because each component was made in China, then transported by boat to Hoi An and assembled all together. It's one of the most beautiful gardens I've ever seen in my life. It's extraordinary. It's a closed campus with a free door gate entrance, a large garden with bonsai trees, a communal temple, a main hall and a backyard, a common feature found in every assembly hall in Hoi An. You will notice a fountain in the center of the courtyard. It is adorned with a magnificent dragon statue that represents the legend of carp jumping over the dragon gate. Wow! I'm impressed! This garden is so awesome in this impressive temple. In order to avoid crowds, visit the assembly hall from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We visited another awesome temple which was right near and we let ourselves deep dive in the culture of Hoi An. The Chua Kao is in renovation. Heavy renovations, still a lot to work here. The Japanese cover bridge, Chua Kao, has been existing for nearly 400 years. <laughs> so this is how the bridge will look. Quietly tucked away behind the Huang Kong Temple lies Huan An Pagoda. While it doesn't contain the perfectly preserved grand altars of other Hoi An temples and pagodas, it does have its own unique charm. The real draw of Kwan An Pagoda is its expensive gallery of paintings and wall scrolls. The gallery contains a wealth of watercolor paintings depicting scenes of nature, calligraphy and philosophical teachings. This is how we do it. Subscribe and travel and tell no one. So beautiful. And look at these four threads going on here. Just amazing. Look at this girl. Wow. These people are so beautiful. And look at this pretty little girl. And here's an old lady. Beautiful as well. I bet she has like 90 years or something. This is what I call beauty. How they capture everything on their faces, like the happiness, the sadness as well, and the beautiful hats they have. This country is so rich in culture. I think it's one of my favorite country. This is Travel and Tell No One reporting from Vietnam or singing from Vietnam. <laughs> this is the old lady, her traditional costume. Ri Han Gallery is a special place for us. We got inspired and lived through the artist photos. 
You'll find here fine art galleries specializing in original photographic works by the renowned French photographer Rican. His vision sounds like this. I'm inspired by humanity in all its forms. Photography is an excuse to get closer to people and to hear their stories. That's how I got started as a photographer, simply meeting people and taking the time to talk with them. Well, after a long walk through the city and plenty of wonderful attractions, we ended the day at the hotel school plus jacuzzi and sauna. We needed some time to reflect on the vibrancy of this unique city. Today we are well equipped for the weather in Hoi An. We have uh, slippers, flip floppers, because of the rain that created floods. You can make customized dresses and costumes here in Hoi An. Hoi An is known by the quality costumes they make. You'll find here affordable prices and experienced tailors. Museum of Trade Ceramics is a museum displaying ceramics related to the history of international trade with countries such as China, India, Japan or Thailand. You'll find here about 368 ceramic artifacts dating back from the 9th century to the 19th century found at archaeological sites in Hoi An. The building that houses the museum itself is a restored traditional wooden house with a characteristic look of Hoi An ancient town, having a similarity in design to houses from Kyoto. There are temples to explore all around the city. Most of them will have free entry. It's pretty cold today in Hoi An. We didn't expect to be that cold these days, but it's the rainy season and it rained a lot. There are floods in the city and you need to be very careful. You cannot go everywhere so because there are floods on the streets. I think we wanted to see like more attractions here, but we couldn't due to this situation. Yes, and what we observed yesterday in the morning, it was almost empty, but uh, in the evening it was full, streets were extraordinary full. I think there are tours that are coming from Da Nang and other cities, and it gets really, really crowded. So uh, visit Hoi An in the morning if you can. Yeah. We also spoke with a lady that lives here and she said that usually November and December are the busiest months uh, for the whole year, especially December because everyone is coming here due to Christmas holidays and so on and so forth. So maybe you need to take that into consideration when coming here. It's not very pleasant to be around the city with, with so many people around. I think we like it more chill, I would say. like empty streets or this is why we normally use the off season but it seems that in Hoi An it's not off season now <laughs> we didn't know that yes. and coming from Ho Chi Minh with 36 37 degrees extremely hot reaching here at uh, almost uh, 20 degrees celsius it's uh, quite a shock, <laughs> quite a shock. <laughs> we we don't even have warm clothes. What you need to know before coming to Hoi An is that the city is very touristic and there are a lot of scams like everywhere. They are trying to cheat you yeah. uh, and they don't have prices. I mean like you're going on the streets and they are selling something but there is no price and they make you a price based on how you look or I don't know if you don't bargain with them 
then you'll uh, pay the higher price. We had a funny story. Yesterday we stayed in queue and for somebody was 40k and we were asked for 50k and uh, it was uh, pretty comic and I said okay give us the same price and he said okay we will do that for you but uh, be prepared to have different prices and try to negotiate. Uh, yesterday I uh, obtained a half price on food so uh, it's good to negotiate also the food. Yeah you need to bargain everything here even the food uh, the clothes, the souvenir as well, everything. They are very good sellers, I would say. And be careful what you photo because uh, they will ask you money. Uh, usually they ask you in advance, so if they ask you in advance, you will know not to do the photo. But uh, sometimes I heard that they will ask you after you make the photo, so be careful on that. Let's make it clear. Hoyan is a walkable city, we didn't see buses, but if you must, you can take either a grab, either some of their traditional bikes. If you're a creative person, you will be delighted by the lantern classes available. Traveling to Hoi An may be hard sometimes. <laughs> Come with me to explore Hoi An. Everywhere in Hoi An and also in other cities, you will see ladies carrying their baskets, traditional baskets with fruits on inside, and uh, they will invite you to take photos with them. But uh, they will not ask you for money, but just to buy some fruits from them. And I bought some fruits. Basically some uh, leaky, really delicious leaky and uh, mandarin but uh, first this bag was really full of uh, fruits she was asking me 150k Vietnamese dong it was enormous and I said no put them back put the fruits back take 25k and give me all the fruits you can she gave me five fruits I'm happy with the photo and also the fruits Delicious leaky. At least you have some fruits now. And some beautiful pictures. Some photos. <laughs> we weren't aware that in November Hoi An has a wet season, flooded streets impossible to pass, cloudy days, a lot of rain and water everywhere. If Hoi An is sinking, Definitely no, but the old town is prone to flooding, giving its proximity to the river. And the rain can easily turn streets and roads into rivers in no time at all. A rainy season in Hoi An. They say it's the wettest month. As you can see, it really is. The city is flooded. And you cannot go like everywhere due to this because of the floods only maybe if you have a scooter or a bike and you are going through the water I think the locals are used to this in the wet season but for tourists it doesn't look very very well it's a little bit concerning so maybe you need to take that into consideration when you're visiting Hoi An to avoid November because yeah this is the reality check it's possible to take a boat tour through the streets and witness an Asian Venice it's not uncommon to see water rise over a meter and back in 1999 the waters rose over 4 meters in some places We sometimes felt that the three days spent here were much more than we needed. But luckily for you, we have more time to fill and share everything valuable to explore. Besides the traditional temples, you'll find a lot of art places where paintings are all over the place. 
Visiting Hoi An is a captivating experience that immerses travelers in the rich culture of Vietnam. This is the Trojan horse made of silk. This is like a local market with street food. Let's see what they got here. Besides this video, we made a dedicated video just for food in Hoi An. It's not all about street food. You can also find here some souvenir. Let's see if we can buy something. This is how a local market in Hoi An looks now. So we got our shoes off and we made it till the middle of the bridge. But uh, again, here there is a flooding not so nice here is more deep so this is what you will get when you buy uh, a ticket to Hoi An very very touristic city for thirty. Come here in the morning if you want to avoid immense queues. The city's well-preserved ancient architecture, vibrant lantern-lit streets and bustling markets offer a glimpse into the storied past as a bustling trading port. Weather was not the best we've seen in Vietnam, but it's wet season here so it kind of makes sense. Some streets were flooded, but people didn't seem to be bothered by that. So let me show you how crazy is Hoi An in a Thursday evening. This is Hoi An. They use horns more than they breathe. Hoyan's unique blend of history, culture and natural beauty makes it a must-busy destination for anyone seeking an authentic Vietnamese experience. Don't forget to subscribe to our adventures and see you in the next one!